I decided to leave my 9 to 5 and go. So what are my favorite? You can't do it naturally. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's been uh, almost a year and a half since my last YouTube video. And um, ever since COVID happened, uh, I just couldn't get to uh, recording and putting out videos, putting out content really. So I've been able for a really long time. As time went by, a lot of people actually asked me why I've stopped putting out content. Most of them have actually asked me to get back in the game. So, and I, I think, I, I think, uh, I felt like I needed to as well because I actually enjoy putting out content and videos so this is my attempt at sort of resurrecting the channel. Um, it will be focused on a bit of gym, uh, a bit of lifestyle and uh, some advice um, that you may find valuable. So where have I been? I've made quite the jump from working a 9 to 5 to uh, getting into fitness full time. Uh, this all happened around my 30th birthday uh, when I decided to leave my 9 to 5. I was actually working uh, for an advertising advertising agency, working with my dad actually. Uh, it was a big decision for me to make that move. Uh, it was very emotional. It's not easy leaving a job like that. Having spent 12 years in corporate, uh, I le I've learned so much and uh, I did enjoy corporate. But uh, ever since I discovered fitness, Fitness has impacted my life, uh, you know, in, in more ways than I could ever describe. And uh, it's just given me so much. And I felt like I belong here. Uh, as much as you can scale an online coaching business, I actually prefer working with people one on one. I feel like there's so much of value that I can add as a trainer uh, and as uh, someone that people can look up to. I'm not the best fitness coach, but uh, there's something that I genuinely. Uh, have and that's uh, the fact that I uh, want to really help people. Uh, Black Box is something that I created out of nowhere, out of nothing. Um, I came up with the name. Uh, I approached uh, this guy who had been running a gym for five and a half years um, and he uh, brought me on as a consultant. Do things are doing really well. For unfortunate reasons we decided to move separate ways and uh, I have now, I, I, I was actually doing Black Box for close to seven months and now I have, uh, the, the name Black Box still exists, it's mine uh, and I hope to sort of uh, resurrect it someday but for now I have moved all my clients to Fitness Connection uh, race course and uh, I've been busy, uh, you know, training people uh, Monday to Saturday, uh, I work a uh, eight to nine hour day but it's a lot of work but I love it I love working with people one-on-one -on -one, uh, developing relationships uh, getting to know them um, enjoy them getting to know me uh, and some of my clients today are some of my really good friends and I've learned so much from them they've learned so much from me and it's been a great journey so far great experience and I'm so happy that I made the jump from a nine to five to what I'm doing now it was such a big decision because I hadn't, uh, I wasn't a big name in this industry. It was tough, but it was a challenge, and I and I took it, and I'm glad I did. And uh, this is something that I feel like uh, a lot of you uh, need to know as well. Uh, you can have dreams, but sometimes those dreams you feel uh, a massive step uh, ahead of you, and you just need to be brave enough to take that step and just pursue whatever you need to pursue. And, uh, this has tested me and I think I've, I've survived the worst. So, yeah. This is how I usually start my day. Uh, get to gym in the morning, have a coffee, uh, train my clients and then get into a workout. Big shout out to Superfood and Amanda. Having my first coffee for the day. Uh, just before I start dating my clients, and I'll probably have another coffee later on at the Department of Coffee across the road. Uh, 
just before I start training. So a lot of people lack the fundamentals of squatting. This is a clear example of that. The, the most simplest thing I can tell anyone to improve their squat is for them to get the entire posture as straight as possible. So you want to be the part of slightly within shoulder width. Focus on having your hands if you're doing a body weight squat, focus on having your hands directly under your chin or below your chin. Um, have your toes pointing slightly outward so that you can have your knee part. Uh, it helps your knee to go in a very natural range of motion. And also if you have your what I feel is when you have your toes completely straight you tend to correct your knee part on the way up or on the way down which is going to cause you a lot of knee issues in the future, right? Like when you see them get better at something, it's like really good feeling That's true Like even if it's something really that's small, small no? yeah, a small win fix your form and the main thing that the hack squat is responsible for is keeping your posture as straight as possible so your entire posterior chain is supposed to be locked in position and straight which helps you squat the proper way just slowly fall back on the bench but as you fall back on the bench have the down bench like firmly rest against your legs and then once you hit the bench, soft land on the bench. When performing a flat press or an incline press or whatever, uh, most people hold the dumbbells uh, uh, neutral. That's not wrong. When you hold it, when you have a neutral grip, your range of motion is a little more restricted than you see you having a semi pronated grip because when you are semi pronated your elbow part can go in a bit deeper and also when it's neutral there is a lot of emphasis and stress that you put on your front tail so with the semi pronated you are actually putting more emphasis on the chest so you are driving more with the chest than with your shoulder have it semi pro just between a power lift and a bodybuilder when performing an exercise that a, a power lifter his main focus and attention is all driven towards pushing that way so there's a lot of like um, intensity uh, you know a lot of uh, it's, it's very aggressive but if you are a bodybuilder you need to be far more focused on engaging your muscle and that requires you to be still uh, and calm as, as much as you can and that stillness, that calmness is going to really help you uh, to into your uh, mind muscle connection which is really what's required when it comes to hypertrophy Forever young. Forever young. Forever young. 
I normally don't get this coffee. My usual go-to coffee here is uh, iced cappuccino, either with almond or oat milk. I'm lactose intolerant, so I can't really drink normal. Um, and obviously, oat and almond is far less in calories as opposed to normal milk. This one uh, is a recent favorite. Desar and I ordered it like about a week ago, and I really like it. Uh, it's actually done by uh, one of the barristers here. Uh, as in, he created this recipe, uh, and it's pretty good. It's a cinnamon coffee, so it has a bit of cinnamon, two shots of espresso, uh, splash of oat milk, uh, and bees honey. Can you not prepare it? What's your normal scene like? Like you obviously train still all five days in the week. You train five days. Five days. Five days. Five days. Five so days. even on comp you train five days. You obviously yeah. have to rest. Days. On comp it's more like six days a week. One day off. It's like three days. One day off. Three days. One day off. Three days. So it's not fixed throughout the week. Okay, and then that intensity obviously gradually goes up. Yeah. Peak by week. Yeah. Plus there's peak also okay. changes. So then when you when 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 you're not competing. You are not preparing for a comp, like an off season. Then five days a week, okay. and you train at whatever intensity you feel like training. No, even that, I have a plan. Right? You have a plan. So you don't. You always have a plan. Yeah. I really respect uh, his work ethic, but at the same time, I do not recommend uh, that anyone sort of does this because not everyone is made for this, and not everyone is as passionate as Jin is. <laughs> his sole focus right now is competing, building his body and winning as many competitions as he possibly can. No, so uh, my goal is to some But you're a diehard competitor now. Yeah. So, so I don't think anyone who's listening right now, unless they are getting into that scene and unless they are as fiercely involved as you are in competing, I don't think they should do this because it's I mean it doesn't make sense for someone who's not competing to do it, right? Are you competing yeah. at that level? No, at that level it's necessary. You can't do it naturally. Yeah, facts. Yeah. <laughs> he's like a... <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean he's... Uh, I respect him so much because he's so honest and open about everything he does and I feel like that's so important in today's context that people are honest and open about how they prepare for something because I feel like social media is great, but there is a lot of unrealistic uh, heights that people look up to yeah. and they think, oh, you know, uh, I want to be like him yeah. and sometimes you can be doing everything right, you can be doing everything consistently in the most disciplined way and still not look like that, but exactly. it, takes, it takes years, it takes a lot of time, a lot of patience, but as Jim very clearly said, you need to be on some type of uh, enhancement. enhancement to get to that uh, level of uh, superior. Yeah. I mean, the, the, the number one thing that I hear all the time in the gym is, okay, hop on a cycle because it's going to be faster. Yeah. It's not to, uh, it's not because they want to compete. It's not because they're passionate about bodybuilding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not because they're passionate about the gym. It's just purely uh, a physical outcome that they want to achieve yeah. in a very short period of time. They just want to take a shortcut, bro. Yeah, no, it's a shortcut also to just look a certain way. It's yeah. it's not because they 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 want to achieve that uh, for anything else. It's just to look good. And I think that's it. I feel like bodybuilding should be a bit more than just looking good. I feel like it also needs to impact your health a bit. You know? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Challenging week for me. We were actually supposed to shoot this video last Sunday. For some reason, I ended up getting food poison, and I was in a world of pain. Like the cramps or something out of this world. Like I was in so much pain. If you want to be the best at anything, like you just have to show up regardless of how you're feeling, what time of day it is, 
and just like give it your best like even if it's not your best on that day like it could be considering all the challenges that you are going through but just give it your best feel like drama rant need a triple double told him check the stats yeah i got a couple i don't try to ball now i never fumble i'm the mvp now i feel like russell yeah i need it now told him on the lay i've been moving dog yeah i'm on the way i don't hear the talk don't care what the fake social media gets by the way <laughs> Honey Brown Dodge? Yeah. Is that the same as the one that we made the, the other day? Uh, kind of. I, you can tell him to bring it in, I'll make it fit. Even though she technically doesn't wear the pants, but I just, <laughs> even if she likes to say it, it's fine. Yeah, I like to feel like I'm mind. wearing the pants even though I I'm not. <laughs> Last part of the video, um, just sat down to have my post workout meal. Really tired, it's been a long day. Uh, got in a really good workout though. Um, just really happy and excited that I'm finally doing this again. Um, finally, back on YouTube, and um, really hoping to be consistent as much as I can and put out a video every other week. Uh, so, stay tuned, and yeah, I hope you enjoy the rest of the content coming your way. Catch you guys in the next one.